Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I am your Mark I'm your host, Mark Fusco, not I'm your Mark Fusco the host. Anyway, um so uh we're in a little Texas wine here. Repping uh repping my alma mater, UT, UT Austin. Um so we're gonna go right into it's gonna it's uh called Tex I'm sorry, called Twin Springs Sweet Red. Get the little label action there. Now this is a um, a winery that is out of Tau, Texas. Even though it's spelt like tow, T-O-W, like you're getting your car towed. Um, but we pronounce it Tau here in Texas, just like every state's got its idiosyncrasies on pronouncing city names or street names. You know, I could go through a whole list of Texas ones. Um, but uh, and the phone rang. Thank goodness it was forwarded. Um, anyway, so. We've got that, and um, so let's talk about Twin Springs for just a second, or the, or the wine itself. It's, uh, it was $6 at HP Plus, and it's a blend of uh, Zinfandel and Merlot. Now, this is called a sweet wine, and according to the uh, winery, it's, it's sweet. So, I'm going to try it out here. And you can really see through, I mean... If you drink Zinfandels and Merlots a lot, uh, especially Zinfandels, you can't see through the, <laughs> you shouldn't be able to see your fingers through the thing. So, it's very light as far as color. Okay, so first off on the nose, it doesn't smell sugary sweet, so that, that's good. I get a little bit of a, a burning sensation. So, even though it's only 10.2% 10, 10 alcohol, the, the alcohol is coming through. As a matter of fact, that's, that's pretty much what I smell mostly. I mean, I smell, I smell fruit, so it's not just like, like just alcohol. I smell a little bit of fruit, so... Um, not really coming through on the nose very much, at least not for me. Okay, definitely, um, definitely a sweetness to it. You can, you can get the sweetness, and it's you know what? it's 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 not really sweet. When I saw this at the, at the store, I was really expecting it to be like really sugary sweet, kind of like the really sweet like the um, the New Jersey wine that we did uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, that's really sweet, and it's it's meant to be a dessert type wine, not a wine you pair with food. Um, even though that peanut butter cracker pairing was awesome, um, oh, I should bring those to the pity party too. So uh, anyway, um, it's definitely got some sweetness. It's got a little bit of, I say some strawberry to it, but not like eating fresh strawberries. More like a processed strawberry, like a fruit roll-up. Um, a little bit of tartness to it. So. Um, it's not too bad. So it balances that sweetness and, you know, I'm very low on tannins. It's not like really killing me. Um, it, it's definitely something that you could drink. Um, you could drink this by itself. You could pair it up with some other food. Um, I wouldn't like pair it with like a big, thick, juicy steak, but maybe some lighter fare like, um, you know, honestly, I could see having this at a barbecue, um, with with some like with with say not sp well, you could put it, you could pair it with some spicy barbecue sauce because the spiciness of the barbecue would would pair well with the sweetness of the wine, and that's something to remember about sweeter wines is they pair very well with spicier foods, so they get that counterbalance and it kind of helps 
the spiciness. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, I'm very impressed with it considering I didn't have high hopes for it. Um, Texas wine in general doesn't always have the best reputation, though there are some great wineries here from what I hear. And I've actually had some great wines from uh, Becker Vineyards. Um, I've only had a couple, like I've only had a few of their wines, but the ones I've had were actually pretty good. Um, first time for Twin Springs. Uh, I would recommend buying this for, for something that's a light wine, something that, you know, for summertime, that, you know, a picnic, barbecue, you're not really trying to uh, overly impress your girl or overly impress a lot of people. You just, you're just, you just want some wine. And um, so, yeah, I, I'd give it, um, my initial thought was 84. And I thought about 82, but 82 seems a little bit too low. Um, I want to go with eight. I want to go with the initial. You know, go with your gut. Go with your initial reaction. I'm gonna give it an 84. Um, it's serviceable. It's uh, it, it's not bad. Um, is it gonna be up there with a, a, you know, a top Bordeaux? No, but it's not meant to be. And that's the thing. Like I, I read their website, and it, it wasn't meant to be. You know, it meant it's meant to be approachable. Meant to be easy drinking. It's meant kind of an everyday wine. They're not trying to. They're not trying to wow people and make 95 point wines. That's not what they're about. At least not what Twin Springs is about. Um, Real quick, this winery was uh, founded or created in 2000, uh, and it's owned by the Fall Creek Vineyards, and they've been around, uh, I think it's 75 in Texas. But, um, yeah, I, I'm still getting, like, that, that sweetness from, from the fruit, um, kind of a candy type of, of sweetness. And, um, you know, it's not bad. I could totally see pairing this with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich too, because of that sweetness. You got that grape grapiness a little bit, um, but it, I, I find it more like a strawberry. Like so, if you had like a peanut butter and strawberry jelly sandwich, that would just enhance it there. So, uh, so yeah, uh, eighty four, and um, um, for what it is, I'm impressed. We'll bring it to the pity party. See. Um, Probably bringing this to the pity party. Uh, so this Friday, I'm going to do that. Um, so Monday's next Monday's episode is going to be a recap of that. Hopefully we'll get more than a couple um, quick interviews of or opinions of the wine. Um, sommelier schools today. So I'm working on that. I'm working on that lesson right now. Well, not right now, but I've been working on it, doing some studying. I'll have that up. Uh, I'll work on that later on this afternoon. Hopefully... Um, you'll see this and then you'll see that. I remember you can only see it on the website. So if you're watching this on, say, YouTube or you're watching this on iTunes or whatever, you're going, what's Sommelier School? Go to the website. It's blazing right in the middle of the screen when you get the very end of the video. So go there. Uh, friend me up. Send me emails. Make comments. I'm out of time. I'll see you guys later.